All right, guys, today's video is about how I transformed this, which is a Stan Rockford six stacker CD unit, and I transformed it into this here, which is a double tin head unit and uh, it has a few features on it. You can see over there it's the KWM150BT screen mirroring, Bluetooth. Um, yes, it is the cheapest on the market. It says over there 300, but I actually bought it for 260 or 270, I think. Um, but uh, it serves all my purposes, as you shall see. Now, the only other thing that I had to actually buy, other than the stereo, the head unit, was this here fascia, which only cost me about 35 bucks off eBay, and it fit perfectly. Other than that, I had to also purchase this, um, this harness, this primary ISO harness, after much discussion on, on Facebook uh, a page and chat with the guy at Repco. We boiled it down to this is the one which I needed, the APP0113. And as you will see, everything works smoothly after that. I also have to mention that the um, Air Pro website is excellent. Um, all you do is that you go onto it, you um, put your car details into it. You also put the head unit details, the one which you, which you want to put in, and it tells you exactly what you will need for that uh, make and model of the car you have. So that's the Air Pro website, A-E-R-P-R-O. Okay, so over here I'm removing the two air vents. I'm beginning with the one on the right. Obviously, I've sped it up a bit. That one does have a plug to it. I think that's to the hazard light, but um, it comes off with this uh, a simple egg um, flipper, as you will see over there. Basically, where the air comes in. And Okay, so this is the uh, other side, the left-hand side. I had the radio over there, so um, I'd take that out. But again, it's only the three clips that hold each side into place. They just, basically, they just snap out um, and come out quite easily. So from this point, you just have to grab hold of both sides, actually. It takes a little bit of coaxing. Um, and you grab it off and as you can see over there, there's just a plug which you need to um, take off as well. The air conditioning unit, as you can see over there, just kind of pops out as well. Okay, so what I'm doing over here is that um, there are four screws, I think, in total. Two on the right, two on the left. I think there's a couple at the bottom. Um, so all I had to do is just take out those screws. And then as you'll see, um, yep, the head unit comes out. Behind the head unit, there's a couple of plugs and there's the um, antenna as well. I'm supposed to get some of these plugs that will plug into here. And it will plug into the back of that one. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, after I'd taken everything out, I went to Repco, got the APP0113, fitted it in and lo and behold, it immediately started to work. Um, everyone was speaking about how there might be an issue with the sound, but there was absolutely no issue with the sound. Everything worked perfectly, um, even though it only connected to one. I don't know what the other one was for. Okay, so what I've done is that plugged it in. As you've seen, everything is working, but the, um, the uh, what you call it is not working at all. The, um, uh, the mirroring, the Android mirroring. So I went online, had a look at a few things, contacted my brother who's a mechanic, and um, they reckoned that it needs to be connected because this one over here wasn't connected at all. But they reckon that if I want to play it um, just like while the car is running without the hand brake um, up, which is obviously it's not safe, and that's why it's over there. It's just it's like a safety precaution. So um, I've taken the um, parking wire one, and that's the uh, light green one, and I've earthed it to the um, 
browned one over there. Um, looks like a reasonable connection, actually a solid connection. Um, I'm going to tape that up and let's see how we go. All right, guys, and uh, there we have it. That problem is solved. So as you can see, it's uh, absolutely mirroring my screen now. If I just go have a look over here, just that's all it needed to do. And then I go here to mirroring. And you see that mirrors in finely and perfectly. So that's awesome. Okay, so this was the next stage. I used the original bracketing and I managed to bracket in. It's a light unit. It went in very, very easy. I'm going to have a, just a try before. All right, so we've got it in, everyone. Mounted it. It looks pretty solid. It's a pretty light unit. Um, I just used the original brackets um, for for it. it's nowhere near as heavy as the original unit so it should hold up pretty well I'm just gonna give, give it a try now this one now. let's give it a try let's see if everything is working okay beautiful that goes on that's working what about um, Okay, is that it? See, I need to use a phone and everything. Okay, all right, so we've got that in, and that went in nicely with the new face here. Now I'm just connecting everything back over here. Okay. That will go back in like so. And this one over here again same Left thing upside down. okay thank you safer dean been a long day okay, oh then. wait i didn't even catch that on camera pointing it the wrong way serious okay so guys what we've ended up with is slightly a bit of a mess okay which i'm going to sort out later on okay it's what to do with all of this as you can see it's all just parts sticking out which looks pretty pretty ugly or well depending how you look at things it doesn't have to look ugly does it okay but yeah it's just why it's sticking out so i'm gonna have to think of a solution for that i've got my bluetooth um what do you call that microphone yep it's a microphone sticking out from there and then i've got that so that will simply plug in when i want to screen mirror all right and okay, let me put this back and I think we are all done now we just have to clean up a bit okay this is where my radio goes also an important note is that um, whilst I was connecting everything I always took the, the negative uh, battery terminal out as a safety as a safety precaution all right guys so there we have it all done um didn't take me too long a few hours so i've managed to put it in i've managed to um so what's working the only thing that's not working is a reverse camera which um the previous owners had so there's a reverse camera out the back but i didn't manage to um hook up the reverse camera i didn't couldn't um work out the wires and i'm i'm nowhere near as tech savvy as it's meant to be my son is over here it's Tafer Dean he's mucking around with what's that the date the time but the sound works perfectly the Android mirroring works perfectly as well you have to just connect it it's very it's not too technical you just connect it over there that's the um, uh, microphone for the Bluetooth you know so I can make calls and everything over that as I say it's, it looks very some might call it untidy i call it rustic um just wires sticking around but that's the way i look what happened with this you managed to put that back in that's my radio over there so that's the old one over there and that's a new one so i got the fascia as well and that's the old one installed all working good ready to go